Hi, I'm Ross Shane from Boris FX. In this video, we're going to show you Cryptomat support, which is a new feature found in Silhouette 2022.5. Cryptomat is an open standard tool created by Jonah Friedman and Andy Jones from the VFX company PSYOP in 2015. Now adopted by VFX facilities around the world, Cryptomat allows roto artists the ability to deliver dense roto projects in one convenient EXR file, providing the ability to isolate and select matte elements by layers or shapes. Let's explore this workflow inside Silhouette. Here we have a roto node, and you can see that the shapes for the background and each actor have been grouped into separate roto layers. Silhouette 2022.5 has two new nodes that support Cryptomat. We can right click in our tree window and find the Cryptomat node under the keying category, or hit the tab button on your keyboard to search for Cryptomat. We can connect the yellow data port from the Cryptomat node to see our embedded data. Cryptomat automatically applies an ID, color, and rank to both layers and shapes. Here in parameters, we can switch the type to view by shape or layer. While the Cryptomat node is used for viewing purposes, when we are ready to deliver a Roto project, we can add an output node to render this data as a multi-part EXR file. Let's add the output multi-part node, which is found in the Silhouette node category. Again, we'll connect the yellow data port output from our Roto node into the data input of the output multi node. If we like, we can also channel the RGBA from the Roto node. This is not required. The output multi part node now has Cryptomat parameters. Here we can select how we want to deliver the EXR data. We can choose layers only, shapes only, or both shapes and layers in one file. And here you can see the default names for how shapes and layers are named within the EXR file. Let's go ahead and render out our multi-part EXR file. With our Cryptomat rendered, let's look at the file in Nuke. We'll create a read node and load in the EXR file. Let's add Nuke's Cryptomat node. Here in Layer Selection, we can choose to display layers or by shapes. With Crypto Asset selected, we can control click to select which of our layers we want to use. If we switch to Crypto Object, we can control click and select individual shapes. So if you are a compositor receiving Roto from another artist, this level of control provides quite a lot of flexibility. We can channel our selected matte elements into any Nuke node for compositing purposes. To cover the workflow inside After Effects, we'll import our EXR sequence and make sure that Create Composition is enabled. After Effects will generate pre-comps and you'll find the Crypto Matte filter is already applied. Here you can change from objects to assets, the selection mode, and view the selected list. With your matte object selected, you can channel this out as a track mat. So if you're an After Effects artist collaborating with a Roto specialist, receiving multiple mats in one file can be a useful workflow. Cryptomat support is just one of the new features in Silhouette 2022.5. We've also added a new color estimation node and enhancements to power mat and the in paint node. To learn more about Silhouette or download a free 15 day trial, visit us at borisfx.com.